everybody, it's Lacey. Welcome to Paul's End Paper. So we are on day 6, December 6th. And let's see what we have today to open in our Advent calendar. Um, I believe this is 9. I'm assuming that's 9. Where is 6? Is this 6? Yes, I'm going to say that this is 6. All right. Well, let's see what we have from our Cora Crea Crafts Advent Calendar. So if you're just joining this daily series, I am opening up the Crafting Advent Calendar. And we are making stuff daily from our crafting supplies that we're getting in these. And so far, everything has been super cute. And I am loving the packaging and everything. It's turning out really good. So let's see what we have here. We have cling stamps and stencils. Oh, that's cool. These are very, I love using those. Oh, and those are those pretty stamps. Oh, those are nice. I like those. Now, the stuff in this advent calendar is not specifically Christmas. So I am making a Christmas journal out of the stuff I am getting. Um but not specifically everything in here is Christmas related. So we are just trying to go ahead and make everything look Christmas related. Georgia blues. Those are cool. I like the fact that you get stencils and stamps together. That's kind of a nice combination. And this is just a nice small stencil. Oh, it's like a, it's a nice heavy plastic. That's nice. I like those. Those are pretty. That'll make a neat design. Okay, so we got a piece of paper we could use there. We even got some acetate we could use. So I've been just trying to use what we have been getting. And these are just very pretty. I like these stamps. The birds, the uh, bicycles, the roses. Just looks very vintagey. I like it. Okay, let's gather some stuff together and see what we can make. Okay, so I think... What I'm going to do is use my packaging here to make like a wider belly band, but also at the same time like a pocket. So I think, how tall is this? This is uh, not quite eight inches tall. So if I make a journal, I'm going to fold an eight and a half by 11 letter size page in half. So that'll give me eight and a half inches tall. So as long as it's eight and a half inches or less, it'll fit in a journal um, later. Because I don't have my journal quite finished yet. So do you think we could use this? And then cover it with this. Because I've been wanting to at least keep the number almost just rewrap it like you know what I mean and then I kind of want to do another like pot like a tuck here tuck here belly band yeah belly band whole tuck and then tuck here so I'm trying to process and do this at the same time I don't plan ahead because I don't know what I'm getting so I'm just kind of kind of just going with it okay Let's just get this glued down here first. So I'm gonna glue it onto my piece here. I'm gonna move it in just a little bit so you can see. Okay, so let's just cover our um, cardstock piece here and make this our base. Now it is a little bit wider, but I think that is gonna be good because I want to turn it into like a a belly band with a pocket on the top also. Okay. Get some glue down. Now I think I want to move this over to make sure I get my number in there and that I get the top. So there's my edge. And I think that should give me enough room to put another one. I think that'll be good. Okay, let's get that smushed down. 
and see if we can just get this torn off here, make it easy. Don't even need to get out the scissors for this one. So is anybody else in the same line as I am? Can you believe it's the 6th of December already? I am so not ready for Christmas yet. It goes by so fast. So I hope everybody's getting their Christmas decorating up, or if you decorate it all, that you've getting it all done. Sometimes that's a lot of work all on its own. Just get that done. Okay, I don't think I want to do brown on brown. I did bring along a piece of um, uh, music sheet here. So music sheet is always good for Christmas-like, right? Yeah, I think I'm just going to do... I think I'm just going to do that here. Let's go back out a little bit here. And I still have this really nice piece of paper. Maybe we can make that into like a little piece that gets tucked in there. What am I looking for? I'm looking for my ruler. Okay. I'm just going to tear off some of this. I want the music to be right to the edge. I don't want to see this blank space here. Okay. And I'm going to ink it all up. And I will probably sew it also. So let's see how many, yeah, I'm going to do the same thing at the bottom. Just get rid of some of the white space. So this series here has just been making like simple projects, actually. You know, we are opening the advent calendar with it, but really it's just a good idea. Uh, you know, like a to give you some ideas of what to put in a journal. I mean, I've been making just simple ideas. Um, pockets, tags, belly bands. Pretty, uh, pretty easy stuff. And just using a lot of what my, um, what I'm getting. Lost my mark. I think my mark is there. In the, uh, the packaging and stuff. Which I think adds to that look that uh, I really like, that vintage -y look. I believe this is straight. Okay. So, I think that will be good. And I'm going to reinforce it by just sewing around it before I put it down. But at least I can still see my number. I'm going to ink it up with my ground espresso here and then we'll sew around it and maybe we should just stencil or stamp on top of the music sheet also add some more dimension to the music sheet that might be kind of pretty okay I'm gonna ink this one too now this whole piece will get glued down so I'm not really worried about what the back looks like because this piece is going to become our belly band base. Cool. Looks good. Upside down. There we go. Right side up. Okay. So that's going to become a pocket. I wonder if this is too wide. Uh, we might be able to trim this down just a little bit. But then we could stick that in the bottom there and then still see our number. That might be kind of cute. Okay, so let's figure out first what we're going to do here before I start sewing everything on. Maybe I want to, maybe I'm just going to stencil because this is going to show just a tiny bit here. Let's just stencil this on here and see what this looks like. And I'm just going to go right over the washi tape and everything. Now these are pretty little little tiny dots and lines so hopefully it goes through and we can see it again this you know it's just more for background oh that's really pretty see you're just kind of adding additional background 
Okay, so let's do maybe if I can line it up. There we go. Probably get one more. That's pretty. Oh, that's pretty. That looks nice. Super cute. Just adds another little dimension to that. Okay, that looks good. Now, I keep thinking maybe we should... Maybe I could... Uh, I feel like if I fill in just the blank spaces there, that's going to... Okay. I really like the bird. I think the bird is kind of Christmassy. Maybe I could put my bird kind of here. Okay, let's see. What do I got? Should we go for a green? Yeah, let's try green. Okay, let's see if I can do stamping. Never, I'm never very good at the stamping deal. Okay, and I don't know if you're supposed to Just use your fingers on these, or if you're supposed to attach them to acrylic block or something. Okay, let's just go for it. Um, let's kind of put him there. Press him down. And... Oh, well, that looks cute. We didn't do too bad. Our little birdie looks good in there. Like him. And let's see, maybe he needs some extra foliage. Foliage. It kind of looks like holly berries bit. Okay, so maybe let's give him some more shrubbery this way, maybe? Yeah, I believe. Let's go this way. Okay. Oh, super cute. He looks like he's sitting in the tree now. Oh, I like that. And maybe, should we use the... Oh, here, let's see if we can do this. Let's do this one, which kind of looks like a nameplate. Ooh, I don't know. If, is this going to be too long? Ooh, that's going to be right on the... Oh, that's going to go off. Um, okay, I'm going to make it go off anyway. I'm going to just stamp it across. Maybe I should move it over. There we go. So now I'm only getting half of it because I know it's going to go off. But I want to get at least the one side. So that looks okay. All right, we got that. And now, maybe let's put in our little word. Memories. Right in there. Oh, how cute. All right, well, this is too much fun. Okay, now we could just sit here and decorate forever. Those stamps are cute. I like that. But that looks really good. Now we got a belly band with a pocket. Now I'm going to... Sew this, sew this, piece it all together, and I'll be back. Okay, so here's my piece. I've just sewn around with a zigzag stitch around the music sheet and then the whole belly band base. So we have a cute just little pocket here, which I think we're going to use this piece of paper that came with it. And then I will glue this into my journal top and bottom, and it'll be a great big giant, really sturdy belly band. So now let's figure out what we want to do with this. We do need to cut it down a little bit, or I don't want to fold it because I think that's going to be way too thin. And I think I just want to, let's just cut it down. Let's just cut it down or tear it here. Where did I mark? Okay. So now this is pretty plain piece of paper here. Say that five times fast. Pretty plain piece of paper. Okay, so there we have that. Maybe, I feel like this is very thin. Let's back it with some music sheet. And we're going to have to do, see, one side's the texty side. And one side's music sheet. Do I want to see that or not? Hmm. Either that or i got to use it. Yeah, let's just use it. Let's just use it. Okay, so let's just glue our piece down to reinforce it a little bit onto some music sheet. 
Plus then it gives us a little bit more music sheet and makes it look like it's all cohesive. Okay. Now this will just become a little journaling card for this uh, pocket. Okay, so now I'm just going to go with the... I've been doing a lot of tearing in this journal. I kind of want this to be like a, you know, like an old world Christmas vintage style. You know, just a very, like it's been stuck away for a very long time and just finally got discovered and dug out. Okay, so I think we're good here. Now, let's decorate this up so it stands out a little bit against here and maybe we need some lace or something. Okay, so maybe, what should we do? Should we do more stamping? Or I have been also using some of the, these are the other pieces that I've gotten so far. Um, we could also incorporate some of these pieces, which I could, I have some, like uh, this pretty text, like washi sheet which is very see-through. That kind of defeats the purpose of the whole music sheet though, doesn't it? Um, I got these cute labels, or we could just stamp. I don't want really the not specimen, nothing specimen. Not quite doing a botanical journal. Um, or we could just stencil it up. Let's just, let's just stencil and stamp and see what we get. Yeah. Okay. Let's just go for this. I'm going to stencil and then stamp over it and maybe add some lace. My highly technical stamping method or stenciling method. Oh. We're getting the esque of stencil. I saw a wallpaper the other day with a stent with a pattern like this. It was kind of cool. It was a really old house, and it was really pretty. Okay, got that. Now let's see which one of these should we use on here. I'm kind of also feeling like I want to round the corners on my little journaling card. Okay, so now we're just playing with our journaling card. Um, of course, we got an ink. I love my inky edges. Okay, now let's add. I really have this really pretty red washi, which is similar to this one. Um, we could just put a little bit of that down to bring out some color. So why don't we do that? Maybe. Just gonna go random. like a little collage bit and maybe somewhere up here there we go all right so that adds a little bit of color there and then how about a stamp what could still look Christmassy maybe the roses the roses are really pretty kind of put them there let's see Maybe we should do that in black. Let's go for just black. I'm going to use my just stays on black ink. I wonder if you're supposed to you're supposed to stick these on an acrylic block. Do they stick? Oh yeah, they stick. Should have done that first. Let's maybe go 
Somewhat centered. Somewhat centered. Oh, that's pretty. You kind of just get it a little bit in the background. Kind of still blends with the music. Okay. Do we want any others? I got the little time piece. We do have another, I made another uh, piece of ephemera for the journal and it has a clock on it. So maybe. There we go. Just make a little collage. Should we add our cute little butterfly too? He's kind of small and cute. Maybe. Yeah, let's put you up there. Oh, cute. These are fun. This is totally my style. I love the style of these stamps. They're all pretty. You know, sometimes you get a stamp and you only really want one. This one here is actually pretty nice. I like all of them. Okay, so let's finish up our little journaling card here. I got stuffs everywhere. So I want to sew around it yet. And I think I'm going to add some lace. So I'm going to do that. Okay, so I just did a straight stitch. Whoa, sewed all the way around it. It's just plain on the back. Now, I did find, I got a couple green ribbons here. This one's like... Oh, green with like a gold on it. And that's kind of pretty. It's just a real thin kind of delicate ribbon. This one here looks like it's green and red, like a, a velvety type, which is also very pretty. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. Um, that might pull out some of both. And then I also have a pretty piece of lace which you can never go wrong with lace, but maybe we could put, and the lace is so similar to the color of the vintage music sheet that you lose it under there. So I'm wondering if we lay that down and then maybe just do like a strip over top of it. Um, I'm gonna cut the lace in half here. Don't think you can tear this very well. Oh yeah, you can. Okay. So I really just was thinking if we do a small piece of lace like this, that we then, cause see how that just blends in. You can hardly even see it there. Um, there you go. It just blends in so well that I'm thinking we need to accent accentuate with maybe I really like the velvet, or should I put it right down the middle? The edge or the middle? Somebody shout it out. The edge or the middle? What are we doing? I think maybe we should just do this and kind of let our lace hang over. Okay, put Dilly Dally and glue it down. Okay, let's just grab, I got Fabri Fix in here. Glue this down, and I'm going to let it off hang just a little do I want it this way no this way this way oh for Pete's sakes put it down okay then let's just go down the edge here I probably have enough glue down already it's already seeping through the lace but just to be sure I'm gonna get my Pinking shears, and I'm just going to cut the end of this so it doesn't start fraying. And let's get that down. There we go. Oh, that feels nice, too. I love that. The velvety feel of that. Oh, that's super cute. Look how cute that looks. You're too close. You can't see nothing. Go this way. Okay, there. Let's see how cute. That looks super cute. Like that. Okay, and then let's see what it looks like. Put in our belly band pocket journaling card deal. Oh, that's super cute. There we go. And then I'll just stick that right down in my journal and make it a belly band back here. I could probably just make it just a pocket too. It might be too wide for a belly band, but either way, there we go. We got day number six done. So I hope you guys are enjoying these projects. Go get your paws dirty and get crafty and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.